How's everyone doing? My name is Rami LaBeouf, and this is the Lamont Jazz Orchestra. So I want to talk about Charles Mingus. Uh, some music is inspired by music. Some music is inspired by the lives that we live, by philosophy, by social justice, by stories, or commercial usage. Um, and Charles Mingus, he, he, he would say, in my music, I'm trying to play the truth of what I am. Uh, Charles Mingus is an American jazz upright bassist and composer. He was born 100 years ago in 1922 and grew up in Watts, California. Um, he is the reason that I personally play music. Uh, he's a huge inspiration for me. Um, and while his music wasn't singularly about one thing, his childhood experiences and his lifelong confrontations with raci racism were reflected often in his music, which um, often fo focused on themes of discrimination and injustice. So um, his music, you'll be hearing a lot of that in his music today. It's intimate, it's absurd, it's terrifying, it's hauntingly beautiful. Uh, he has so many emotions in his music. And uh, he was known to be a deeply troubled figure. Um, but if any of us had experienced the things he had experienced, you would be troubled too. Um, he saw himself as three people. One man, passive, observant of the other two. The second, and I'm quoting him here, a frightened animal that, at that attacks for fear of being attacked. And third, an overloving, gentle person who lets people into the innermost sacred temple of his being. So as you listen to his music over the course of tonight, I want you, I encourage you to listen for all three Charles Minguses. We're going to begin with one of my favorite compositions of his entitled, Better Get Hit in Your Soul. And he wrote this song as a gospel tune for the junkies of the world, advising them to get a spiritual hit in their lives, not their arms. Here's a quote of Mingus directing his band on how to play and what, what I can only assume was this particular song. I told him, it's like when disorganization comes in and you've got to straighten it out, he said. I told him, it's like a minister in a church or like a Jewish rabbi. Everybody's shouting at you. You've got to chant and put them back into condition. So we're going to do that right now. This song is going to feature Danny Garcia on the bass. Take us away, Danny. Thank you. 
Let's hear it for Danny Garcia on bass. You also heard from Annabella Brotherston on the trumpet. On the alto saxophone, Ben Porter. And on the tenor saxophone, Adam Gong. And let's not forget on the drums, Eli Patchen. Uh, while we're on the topic of, well, everything Mingus, um, this next one is one of his most famous pieces and one of my favorites of his. It's called Fabus, Fables of Fabus. And this one is um, one of his most explicitly political works. The song was written as a direct protest against Arkansas Governor Orval Fabus, who in 1957 sent out the National Guard to prevent the racial integration of Little Rock Central High School by nine African-American teenagers in what became known as the Little Rock Crisis. Um, the original lyrics of the song were not permitted to be on the record uh, Mingus Aum put out by Columbia. They, they wouldn't, let him, wouldn't let him put them on the record. Uh, but they are, oh Lord, don't let them shoot us. Oh Lord, don't let them stab us. Oh Lord, no more swastikas. Oh Lord, don't let them tar and feather us. And it goes on, um, but uh, I think you get the point, yeah? So I think it's just interesting. One of, one of the things that, that Mingus does is he takes these, these very dark things and makes them absurd, you know? And so this, this song has this very kind of like, you know, cartoon-like uh, vibe in the beginning. And he just highlights just through juxtaposition the, it's, it's, it, he's just brilliant. I love how he highlights the, puts the absurdity next to the darkness. It's, it's um, quite a feeling. So this is Fables of Fabus. Oh, and this one's going to feature Adam Gong on the tenor saxophone and Jonas Peterson on the alto saxophone.
All right, how bad for this band? We're going to continue with a song called Duke Ellington's Sound of Love. So this was written as an elegy for Duke Ellington, uh, who was Mingus's greatest influence. Uh, Charles Mingus played in Duke's band briefly in 1953 until he became one of the first musicians, uh, maybe one of the only musicians, uh, personally fired by Duke for getting into a backstage fight with trombonist Juan Diesel, who is, uh, you, might, you might know of him because he wrote, uh, co-wrote the song Caravan. It's uh, one of the most famous jazz standards. So anyway, um, this is Duke Ellington's Sound of Love, and it's going to feature Will, Willie, Wilding on the, tr on the uh, guitar, and uh, Annabella Brotherston on the trumpet.
Thank you. You also heard from Adam Gong and Jonas, uh, no, Ben Porter on that one too. Just a little taste of each of them. <laughs> this next one is going to feature our baritone saxophonist, Bowery Pan. Let's give him a hand. It's called Monin. Um, it was written as a response to critics who said that Mingus's music didn't swing enough. Are you kidding me? Come on. Um, he recorded it on Blues and Roots, um, and uh, as he explains, Mingus, uh, he says, quote, Bar a barrage of soul music, churchy, blues, swinging, earthy. I was born swinging and clapped my hands in church as a little boy, but I've grown up and I like to do things other than just swing, but blues can do more than just swing. So I hope you enjoy it. This one uh, is going to feature Bori Pan, as well as Adam Gang and Johnny Sterling on piano. Thank you. 
Let's hear it for Barry Pan on the baritone saxophone. That was Adam Gong on the tenor saxophone. Johnny Sterling on the piano. We're going to play one more and then take a short intermission, and we'll be back with another set. This next one is called Jelly Roll for the great Jelly Roll Morton.
That was Mason Cook on the trombone. <laughs> Filling in last minute for our sick trumpet player, we have our hero, Alexander Hardin, on the trumpet. And that was Jonas Peterson on the alto saxophone. We will be right back after a brief intermission. Thank you, everyone. Welcome back, everybody. This next one is called Boogie Stop Shuffle. It's kind of self-explanatory. It's a 12-bar blues that goes between a boogie, stop time feel, and a shuffle. And always reminds me of car chase music, uh, one of my favorites. It's going to feature Jonas Peterson on alto saxophone, Johnny Sterling on the piano, uh, Eliza Patchen on the drums, and Danny Garcia on the bass.
This next one is going to feature Elijah Stevens on the tenor saxophone. This is a song that Charles Mingus wrote uh, for saxophonist Lester Young. He was known for wearing pork pie hats, so the song is called Goodbye Pork Pie Hat, and it just happens to feature one of our most stylishly dressed individuals on a consistent basis, <laughs> Eli Stevens.
Let's hear what the rest of it is. Haunting. We're going to continue now with a piece called Nostalgia in Times Square. Uh, this piece was written, uh, it's a medium, medium tempo blues written for the 1959 John Cassavetes, wait, Cassavetes film called Shadows. Anyone seen that film? It's, well, here, the, the piece is a part of that film, Nostalgia in Times Square. Um, and it was recorded um, on the album Portraits, Mingus in Wonderland, and then later reprised, reprised as uh, Strollin. Um, with lyrics on Mingus Dynasty. So this one is going to feature several awesome people, including, if I can find out where I wrote, there they are, Johnny Sterling on the piano, Audrey Dow on the trombone, Ben Porter on the alto saxophone, um, Connor Life on the trumpet, and Willie Wilding on the guitar. So. This is Nostalgia in Times Square.
Hey, uh, that was Nostalgia on Times Square. Uh, before we play our final selection, I want to announce everyone in the band one last time. For our saxophone section, we have on alto, Jonas Peterson and Ben Porter. On the tenor saxophone, Adam Gong and Eli Stevens. And on the berry saxophone, Bari Pond. Yeah. Holding it down on bass trombone, my hero over there. This, this guy's amazing. Jordan Criminger. Audrey Dow on trombone, who you just heard from. We've got Mason Cook on tr lead trombone. And we've got Robert Wake on trombone, too. And you're going to hear from him in this next piece. Hear a lot of Robert in this next piece. On the trumpets, we've got Annabella Brotherston. Trumpet. Connor Life on trumpet. Subbing for, um, for Sebastian Alvarez, who couldn't be with us tonight, we've got Alexander Hardin. And on lead trumpet, we've got Alex Moulton. For our rhythm section, we've got so much bass tonight, Danny Garcia. That's a big job to do a Mingus tribute as a bassist. Danny's really holding it down. On guitar, we've got Willie Wilding. On piano, we've got Johnny Sterling. And on drums, just keeping the band together, our fearless leader, Elijah Patchen. This last song we're going to play is called Gunslingin' Bird. And this one um, is going to feature Robert on trombone, Danny on bass, Annabella on trumpet, and Eli on the tenor saxophone. And this is, uh, it was originally titled, If Charlie Parker Were a Gunslinger, There'd Be a Whole Lot of Dead Copycats. <laughs> Gunslingin' Bird. Hope you like it. Thank you so much for spending your evening with us. We certainly had a lot of fun with you, so uh, if you're interested, check out more of Charles Mingus's music and come see us play next time.